parte de Puerto Rico. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Jeff and Joe's Puerto Rican Kitchen, where we show you how to make easy, authentic Puerto Rican recipes. Today we're going to be making granitos de humacao, and this is a real niche dish, guys. If you haven't been to humacao, good chance even if you're from the island that you've never heard of them and you've never had them. So I grew up in Mayaguez and sure enough, never heard about them until I started dating Jamari and got to visit her and try some in Umacao and oh my God, guys, they are delicious. So, so what is a granito? Well, to start with, it's a fried fritter, kind of like a sorbito, but rather than using cornmeal, you use rice and not just rice flour, you use whole rice that you grind up until it has this real chunky granular texture, which is just delicious once fried, guys. So I'm not sure anybody really knows who invented granitos, but everybody agrees that the person that made them famous was Doña Bartola from Humacao, from El Barrio Patagonia, who started a factory in her own home and soon was selling these all over Macao and everybody loved them. So funny enough, Doña Bartola has a connection to Jomari's family. So Jomari's great-grandpa had a cafeteria or una fonda in Macao, and Doña Bartola worked for him as a cook before she eventually left and started her granito factory. So given the family connection, I wanted to go back, try and recreate the recipe and see if I could get it the same way that I had it there so that I can share it with Jomari and her family and most importantly, you guys. So here's what you need and it's super easy. First, we got two cups of water. Then we have a cup and a half of medium grain rice. Again, we want to start with rice as compared to rice flour, which we're going to grind up so you get that special texture that makes granitos what they are. So rice, then we got a tablespoon of butter, we got a teaspoon of salt, and then we got some gouda cheese to top them with. Guys, this is delicious, a real niche, but you're going to love it. So let's get cooking. The first thing we need to do is grind our rice. As I've mentioned before, the key to an authentic granito is to start with the whole grain of rice and then grind it into a coarse flour. To do this, I've found it's easiest just to add your rice to a blender and then blend it on high until it has the consistency of loose dirt or a really coarse sand. Depending on your blender, you might have better luck if you pulse it from time to time. At the end of the process, your rice flour should be a mixture of a fine powder along with small chunks of ground rice, which is what gives the granito its unique texture. Once your rice is ready, add your water, salt, and butter to a medium saucepan and bring it to a boil. Once your water starts boiling, turn off the heat and add your rice. Immediately begin mixing your rice vigorously until it creates a thick paste. Make sure to keep stirring until there are no more lumps. Once mixed, put your lid on your saucepan and let the mixture sit for 15 to 20 minutes. This allows the residual heat of the pan to continue cooking the rice and also lets the mixture cool down to the point where you can handle it. Once your mixture is cool enough to handle, let's shape it into granitos. The name granito is a reference to the shape of the rice grain, so traditionally, granitos are shaped into flattened ovals that are pointed at both ends, kind of like a rice grain. To do this, just use your hands to shape about one-third of a cup of the mixture into a ball, then flatten the ball into a disc about half an inch thick. Once you have your disc, use your hands to shape the disc into a tight oval, tapering it towards both ends. If it helps, Try moistening your hands with a little bit of water so that the dough doesn't stick to them. Once your granitos are shaped, it's traditional to add a piece of Gouda cheese in the middle. Start by cutting your cheese into small cubes, no bigger than half an inch. Once your cheese is cut, push it down into the middle of your granitos. If your granitos have already cooled like mine have, adding the cheese might create some cracks, but don't worry. Once the cheese is inserted, just reshape your granitos, squeezing them tightly back into the appropriate shape. Now that your granitos are shaped, let's get them frying. In a large pan, add your frying oil. Because we don't want the cheese to fall out of our granitos, we can't flip them. So you need to add enough oil to completely submerge the granitos. 
Heat your oil up to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and then add your granitos. Fry your granitos for about five to seven minutes or until the edges of the cheese starts to turn a dark golden color. Once cooked, pull your granitos out of the oil and let them rest on a cooling rack over a sheet pan. This method of cooling ensures that the outside remains crispy. Once cool, these are ready to eat. Enjoy! Well, there we go, guys. Granitos de Humacao, just as if you bought them from El Barrio Patagonia. I'm gonna dig in. Ooh. Delicious, and a ton of crunch. You can hear it, right? So it's crispy on the outside, and then the texture's really, really distinct because of the, again, the rice not being ground fine, but kind of ground into this like, almost like sand consistency. And that sounds like funny, but like eating it, it's delicious. And then the best part is the middle when you get to that cheese. Oh. I'll be honest, um, the the original granitos, uh, when, you, when you buy them in Macau, I've always found the cheese to be, um, and God forbid that I'm opining here because they're from Macau and I'm not, but I'm always a fan of more cheese rather than less cheese. So, you know, when you're making it yourself, you can, you can really add the cheese in there and it's just so delicious, guys. This is awesome. It's a great snack. People eat it with breakfast, with coffee. It's a mid-afternoon snack. Again, guys, just super delicious. You should really try it. And again, um, a lot of people, even from Puerto Rico, just may not be kind of aware of granitos because it's just such a such a niche local dish. But it's awesome. It's super easy, guys. You saw it. It's like four ingredients, five ingredients. You can bang it out easy in an hour. It's just super fun and just super delicious, guys. So hope you try it. Mm. So in addition to trying it, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you hit the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And come back again next week for another episode of Jeff and Joe's Puerto Rican Kitchen.